is the value of formal definition. However, it's really hard to understand. If I explain the relation is like that. That's it. Probably nobody understands what relation, relation and database means. So that's the reason first I explain the four informal definition. Some example. That formal definition. In his the paper, he used this formal definition. But I'm not going to use only the formal definition in this the relational database model. Instead, pretty much I'm going to use informal definition in this class. But anyway, you'd better know the such a notation if you are interested in the reading the technical paper or the writing a write a technical paper. Okay. For example, we have two domains. Whatever that is, S1. S1 has all possible value, that is 0, 4, 1. And another domain, S2 has A, B, C. So we can select the value only from the disk. So relation R is the combination. X means it's a partition for the all possible combination. So for example, 0, A can be 1, 2, put. 1, A can be 1, 2, put. So we can make the this kind of relation, how many tuples do we have in this relation? Three. 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 Okay? But if we put the two A, that cannot be possible because no. two is not in, not in domain. domain. This is out of domain. Okay? Kind of out of data type. <laughs> so this is the comparison table between informal terms and Formal term. Probably you know the informal definition. Table, column, row, values in column, table definition, populate. Populated table means insert the data, delete the data. Okay, populating. So relation is the same concept as the table in informal. Okay, somebody says, so relation, what is a relation? It's a table, right? And attribute domain is the same as column, tuple is the same as row, and domain is the values, possible values in a column. But this is not implemented in any commercial DBMS. Instead, they like to use. But nowadays, I read one uh, several paper, some papers that implement the domain because sometimes data type is too restricted, too strong. Restriction. Okay. What if we have the um, we do not have the enough number for phone? Okay. That actually happened in my hometown. We use the three area code, three and four number, just like the US phone number. But for the cell phone in Korea, cell phone is very very popular. Even the five year, five years old kids. They have the, the cell phone. Even strongly suggested for security reason. And even the uh, old people, they have the uh, free cell phone for emergency. And uh, most of people have. So it's very popular, so we do not have enough numbers. So we change the area code for uh, four digit. What happened? All the data type should be changing. So that is frequently happening. Like the, can, do you know Y2K, year 2000? Yes, of course. Robert, some of you guys know. At the time, we used what? <laughs> Two digits for the year, like the 99, yes. 86. But in 2000, we, can, we should use 00. zero. Somebody warned uh, there might be disaster, actually not. Okay. So that is the problem of the data type. At that time, if we can use the such a domain, define the domain for the more data, possible data, then computer can select the possible. We don't have to change any rules or the history. Can you understand what I'm saying? That is the actual difference between domain and data type. Okay, and table definition is the same as the schema of a relation. Who is it? Our final goal of a relational model is. Define the schema. What is a schema? We will learn later. Simply, it's a description. So schema is 
description. Schema of a database, description of a database. Okay? So these are the examples of the student relation. We can see the five tuple and six, seven, and to do. Okay? So we can each tuple has the value. That value should be atomic, individually. Which means, for example, name. This is one word. It cannot be divided into two. If yes, if that can be divided, we should have different attribute, like the first name, last name. But from our model, ER model, we define as a one word. Okay. Then pretty much okay. But what about the annual LM? For the number, probably we do not have such a possible. NULA data value from home phone number domain. What is that? Null is, is, uh, is not inserted data. It's not null means it's not initialized. Not existing. Okay? It's not NULA. If you name your son as a null, it's an NULA data. However, null in this. The relation means nothing, not existing, just like empty set in set theory. So it's not existing. Why? Sometimes a tuple this big Davis may not have home part number at that time. Do we need to ignore this entire tuple because that is not the same as the, the other? No, that's too risky. Sometimes we may have many. Null value, no value data. But some of the attributes should have, must have the data, like the social security number. Social security number is a key attribute, so that can be used for identification, which means there should exist data. Right? At that time, we can specify the constraint of this one as not null. Not null means not null. Right? Should exist. Can you remember the last Thursday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday exercise lab? Some of the attributes marked as none. You can select the constraint option as none. Why? That data, that attribute should have the value. Okay. So in that case, all the values tuple has the value for such a none attribute otherwise it can be null data to keep the same format okay so that is another thing uh, of characteristic of the relation what time is it only 15 uh, one minute okay. last one one more thing the tuples are not considered to be ordered. What is an ordered? So we are using a set theory to define the data, right? In set, what can be the example of the set in mathematics? Natural number, integer number, positive number. So one is followed by two, is followed by three, is followed by four. There is an order. So integer on ordered set is called the ordered set. If you can make the order, that's very important in our real life, actually. If there is no ordered set, actually, so I got the three point. I got first, the length, and he's got the second, and third, if there is a if the natural number is not ordered, we don't know whether I, I'm the better than the other. Who, who knows? One is followed by two, two is followed by one. Because the numbers are ordered, we can easily blend or order and make the money. This is bigger than this. It's a natural not life. So that is the order set. However, even though we adopt the set theory to database model, we are not going to consider such an order. So Lee, James, Patel, doesn't matter. James, Patel, Lee, 
Patent D change, it doesn't matter. That is the reason when we access the database, sometimes if you want the list, the old specific order, you need to sort the data. Okay? Nobody knows how the data will be returned. Sometimes pattern will be returned first, sometimes it will be returned first. Because the tuples, the relation is not on order the set. Okay? So that's another thing. Okay. So next class we will discuss about the uh, details of the relational model. Then after we complete the relational model, we learn the uh, ER model from the information to data. And from data, we can model the relational database. The only thing before we create the real database, the only remainder is how to convert ER model to relational model. They are different one, not totally different anyway, different model. We learned ER model. We learned relational model. So we need to convert the ER model to relational model. That is the after the week. Okay? Any question? Yes.